Okay, so we are going to make a Tuscan chicken simmer. And what you'll need is about a pound of chicken, and I have some chicken breasts here we're going to cut in half. Uh, so you want four halves of uh, some chicken breast. This is actually almost two pounds, but um, we're going to make it anyway. But the recipe calls for a pound. You'll need some pesto, um, some cream cheese. You'll need only four ounces, so you need half of this. Uh, you'll need one cup of the Italian five cheese blend, finely shredded. Uh, you'll need two cups of cherry tomatoes or grape tomatoes. Um, and then you'll need a fourth cup of water. So that's it. So let's get started. Okay, so I did turn my Ninja to stovetop high. And I cut up the chicken in some smaller strips. Um, and then I'm, I did spray the pan with a little bit of Pam cooking spray. Uh, probably not necessary, but um, I wanted to minimize any kind of sticking. So I did spray it a little bit. So now I'm going to add the chicken into the Ninja. And like I said, the recipe does call for one pound of chicken, but I have like 1.8. So I'm going to go ahead and cook it all and um, I may increase the other ingredients as well to, uh, to cover for the extra amount of chicken but I will tell you the amounts that the recipe calls for and you can adjust accordingly so there we go uh, I am gonna put the lid on this and cook both sides till the chicken is done um, but I'll check it. Just want to make sure your chicken is thoroughly cooked all the way through. Thanks. Okay, so the chicken is done now. And I want to keep it warm. So I have a plate here with some foil. I'm going to take the chicken out and put it on my plate so I can keep the chicken warm. Okay, so you'll want to turn yours down to low um, or medium. Um, I'm going to try low for right now. Okay, like I said, the recipe calls for a pound of chicken and then it calls for a fourth a cup of water. Well, I'm going to add, since I have almost two pounds of chicken, I'm going to add a half a cup of water. I'm going to add two cups, and the recipe calls for two cups of tomatoes. I don't have enough to double that recipe. Uh, the recipe calls for four ounces of cream cheese. And I'm going to put this whole thing in. Would be half of this thing, but um, like I said, I have double chicken. Okay. Then it calls for about a fourth a cup of pesto, and I'm going to add um, close to a half a cup. Okay, so there I am adding a little under a half a cup, because I don't quite have two pounds of chicken. So there we go, and I'm going to probably have to turn this up to medium, because we are going to uh, want to make sure this is heated thoroughly. So if you have a medium, use medium. If you don't, you might want to crank it up to high and then crank it back down to low if it gets too hot. So you want to cook it uncovered for a few minutes. Um, just make sure it's heated all the way through. Oh my goodness, it smells so good, that pesto. So I'm just stirring it as it's warming everything through. Looks smells delicious. Okay, I'm going to let that just warm up, and then we'll move on. But man, does that look beautiful. All right, even on low, um, this is boiling, so I'm going to stir it occasionally. Um, so I think it's, it's warmed up, so now we're going to add the chicken back into the mix. Okay, we're going to make sure that 
the chicken is coated and covered. And then we're going to let this cook for just about two or three minutes. Just essentially to warm your chicken back up in case you got it uh, in case it got a little cool. Mainly want to make sure your chicken is covered. Mm, it looks and smells delicious. All right, so it is nice and warm. It's been a few minutes. Now we are going to take our five cheese Italian blend and just sprinkle cheese all over the mixture. There you go. Alrighty. It looks delicious. I'm going to let that sit for a minute or two, let that cheese melt. Um, and then we're going to give it a try and I'll let you know what we think. Thanks. Just serving it with some spinach fettuccine or some ravioli, but uh, we made some quinoa. So there it is on the plate, and we'll let you know what we think. Thanks. All right, so the Tuscan chicken simmer turned out wonderful. Uh, it's like, it's one of those that I can't even believe I made it. It was so good. So if you're watching this video and you've never made anything that any out of any of my other videos, you have to try this. Um, it is fantastic, and I just can't believe that I made something so good. So I highly recommend you give it a shot and you should probably double the recipe because it's that good you'll want to eat it again so um yeah so if you like this video and you like my other videos and you think this is helpful give me a thumbs up subscribe more videos coming soon thanks see ya